What's up guys, welcome back to another video here in Dubai and today I'm going to be showing you guys the famous gold souk in the market of Old Dubai and we've got the brothers here, yeah I will come back for you for sure yep, and again we are in the hustle bustle area of Deira which is Old Dubai and I'm just going to give you guys a walk through of what that famous gold souk is like so we're just heading there now hustle and bustle area got some construction going on over there they're just fixing some of the old buildings because around this area is the old part of Dubai so it's always being reconstructed it's not like the new Dubai that has been built from scratch so you've got everything here you know from textiles from spices from lighting from equipment jewelry you name it it's that type of place you can just hear the hustle and bustle around me you know you've got the workers here you know helping people Hello brother, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. These brothers here are all over this area because what they do is work with a lot of the shopkeepers here, help pick up their deliveries, their boxes, and also just help customers that come here that also buy quite a lot of things because what you get around this area is a lot of foreigners that come to Dubai. Uh, what they do, they buy things in bulk such as clothes, jewelry, spices, lights, you know, all of these type of things because they're cheap here. So they buy things in bulk. Uh, anyway, we are arriving to the gold souk, but we're going to dive in to have a look at some of the shops and some of the gold that they are selling. Just got the sign up there. There we go, gold souk. So we are going in. Wow, look at that. One of the first shops you see on there is this kind of like dress. All made in gold. Wow, look at that. This looks like a belly dancer's dress. And oh my God, this looks like the crown. Incredible. I'm gonna have to go in here and ask these guys how much does that cost? Let's go and find out. Let's see who buys this type of stuff. Now here we go. Assalamu alaikum, how are you brother? Are you okay? Good, good. This one uh, oh, is not for sale. No. Oh, <laughs> we're just, I was actually curious to see who would buy this. Real gold. Yeah. Real gold. How much would it be worth? 10 million. Wow. So guys, that crown jewels that you see there is 21 carat. And he's just working it out now on the calculator. Um, oh, it's it. around five, five million. Five million dollars. Wow, that's crazy. So, guys, he say Arjun is telling us that this thing here, which is not for sale, don't touch it. However, this is five million dollars worth of gold right there. Wow, that's the type of stuff that is being showcased here in the gold suit so got some beautiful bracelets here as well and a lot of people come here to buy this type of stuff for their weddings and uh, a lot of people from india come here to buy uh, yeah. gold for weddings right yes and yeah we have people from like africa africa as well where would you say is a lot of your customers coming from usually yeah like uh, india pakistan Bangladesh. India, pakistan. Because in the, in the culture when they get married they just keep it a lot uh, they of the time. wear it sometimes i sometimes. mean uh, for weddings, yeah, they were. They were just for the wedding, were, though. They right? were almost as much as Indians were. Ah, uh, okay. The Arabs, yeah. Uh, uh, but mainly the women, right? Because the, the guys, women, yeah. guys don't wear gold. No. Yeah. Is this like Indian gold, or is this? No, basically it's 22 karat gold. Yeah. So uh, the gold always obviously comes from Africa. Ah, oh, is but it? But the the manufacturing and everything is from around the world. Uh -huh. So we have from India. We have some from uh, Turkey, Italy, Malaysia. Let's see what stuff they might have for me as well. They're just showing us here. We've got all the weighing scales here. So this, place is, this, this place is official. You know, they do things properly here. So we're just seeing what rings they might have for me. Maybe something something might be quite nice. These ones, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day, yeah? Thank you. Take care, man. All right, so we've just finished having a look in here. So as you see, guys, this place does not mess about. We've got a five million dollar golden. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you. That was the first shop we saw as soon as you walked in to the gold soup was a five million dollar kind of crown, if you like. But it's not for sale. It's literally they've got five million dollars just on the window and not for sale. So crazy. So we'll just have a look at another shop. There was one that I saw. Oh, here's another one that basically sells these kind of long necklace looking things and I think this is more for uh, weddings as well you see here the ladies that wear it here maybe we can go in and just ask them see how much these type of things cost Assalamu alaikum how are you? Assalamu good good alhamdulillah brother I just want to ask you uh, these necklaces here 
Is it mainly for the Arabic weddings? Yeah, Arabic. Bahrainis. Yeah. Bahrainis, yeah? Yes, Bahrainis. Ah, very nice. So typically, how much would one of these necklaces cost? One. Yeah. This one, like, uh, what's the cost of these? Yeah. 106,000 dirhams, which is about twenty thirty thousand dollars i think something like this so so guys those um necklace things you saw there which is mainly for weddings where he said the bahraini people are wearing mainly um you're yeah. looking at a hundred thousand dirhams which is no joke and there's a lot of people coming now to for the weddings after covid okay. many people coming yeah. uh -huh. so this is turkish this is the they got Bahrain, design. italian yeah. okay so you see yeah uh, they start changing the Indian designs. Design, this one. Okay, so these are more like the Indian designs. Yeah, you can just tell. You can see like this is more Indian. Yeah. This is more like Turkish. Yeah. So really nice speaking to these guys. It seems like they're also locals in town. I'm just going to show you it again. These are about thirty thousand dollars. Wow, incredible. So probably about almost half a million dollars just on the window on show just there. Crazy, absolutely insane. So that's two shops there two shops there so far we have got approximate value of the first two shops that i've checked out was five million and half a million so 5.5 million dollars i have just witnessed just by walking past two shops and i'll just give you guys a general walking tour of what it's actually like around this area so you've got this kind of big hut up there which basically stops all the sun coming in because when it gets really hot in the summer this area is just super super hot so they've kind of got fans all up there to keep things cool and you've got these guys just chilling here on the seats relaxing because um, a lot of these guys actually that have sat here work for the shops so what they do they usually come up to you and ask you you know are you interested in buying some gold what type of gold and then they're just basically they're basically salesmen for a lot of these shops because as you can see the competition is fierce they're literally shop after shop shop after shop so you know if you don't like something in one you'll probably find what you like in another shop so they have to have these kind of sales reps around to kind of pull the customers in and essentially um, get some get some more customers to their shops but the good thing is here in Dubai you can bargain absolutely everything you see more like in Western countries it's really difficult to bargain usually when a price is set they don't really bring it down whereas in the Middle East you can bargain absolutely everything and now that brings me into this incredible incredible shop called the gold house jewelry which is just up there and i'm just going to show you guys like everyone's taking pictures of it because it just looks insane so we've got this crazy crazy looking gold here just on display if i get a bit closer where the guys get their shots yeah now look at that this is this is something that you don't see every day look at the size of these gold things absolutely incredible it's just like it kind of reminds me of like the pharaoh they used to wear these type of things you know it's just insane assalamu alaikum brother how are you you okay um, brother i want to ask you this uh big chain like a necklace what is uh, people wearing for the weddings mainly how many bears or how many yeah like this one here is for wedding yeah yeah and how much is usually this price one million half one million half in dirham yeah. one million for, uh, Four hundred thousand. Wow, amazing! Beautiful shop, very nice. Very good. So you hear that, guys? The price of these things just go higher, higher, and higher. In this shop here, he's saying that's one point one million uh, dirhams, which is approximately, he said, around four hundred thousand dollars. And this is the type of stuff that these guys are wearing on their weddings, and it's just incredible. I'm just, I've just come back out again to show you guys look at these things like do they not just remind you of kind of the pharaohs what they used to wear in the videos many years ago you know when you watch the cartoons or the video or the films or kind of the mummy type of vibe absolutely crazy look at that now we've got some even head scarves and face scarves face coverings that they're using as well everyone is literally standing outside and taking pictures of it because it's just crazy i'll just show you guys as well look at that so you've even got like gold face masks and we've got like a whole dress here that is literally made of gold absolutely insane we've got all the guys here literally everyone's taking a picture of it because it's just so so unique incredible 
So, so far we've had five million, we've had half, so we've had five million dollars for the first shop. The next one was half a million. This was with one million. God, we're, we're close to 10 million dollars. Actually, we probably are at 10 million dollars because in that last window that we saw, it wasn't just one, that was 1.1 million. Each of those big long dress type of things all cost 1.1 million each. So we're already guys at 10 million dollars and that's just free shops. And um, we, it seems like we're coming towards the, towards the end of the uh, gold souk and we've just, they just, the shops just keep on coming. Um, this one here looks a bit more quaint and uh, here we go, tourists enjoy the AT3. So if you're a tourist in Dubai, you can claim back your VAT, which essentially is typically around uh, between, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll double check this. I'll put it in the description after, but I think it's between five to 20%. And you can claim back your VAT once you leave the, once you leave Dubai, you can just get the VAT receipt and claim that back when you leave the country. So that's why a lot of people also do their shopping in Dubai, because A, it's cheap to buy the gold and two they claim their VAT back because they don't have to pay it because essentially they're not a resident of Dubai so huge benefits to come and buy your gold here uh, this shop here looks like they got some nice rings wow just so many things here you know beautiful hello guys how are you good 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 everyone's so friendly here oh this this guy sells some silver got silver let's have a look some silver as much as I love gold, I also do like some silver. As you can see, my jewellery is all kind of silver looking colour, white, goldish. So, we are. Hi, how are you? Salam alaikum. Okay, it's getting a bit busy here. Let's see where he's taking us. You see, these are the sales people that I was telling you about. They grab you, you see, they got me as well. So, we're just going to go in the shop here. Let's have a look. Salam alaikum, how are you, brothers? I'm good. We have some silver here today. Good, good. What we got in here? Is this all real silver? Yes, sir. DS silver. DS silver. Do you have anything like this type of design? You see, because I like these type of things. Let's have a look here. They've got some cool looking designs. Oh, look at that. They've got a Y, which is for Yad Ventures. Mm -hmm. Nice. How much is this? Two, three, five. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, all types of designs anything for me in here well thank you guys appreciate it see you yeah not very uh, talkative these guys not really feeling the vibe in there so usually look I don't mind kind of being open-minded to having these sales guys take me into shops and you know just explore what they have for sale but the one thing is kind of be a bit enthusiastic if I'm going to buy some jewelry or just anything. Now we're just going to probably head to the end now and maybe see if we can grab a juice or anything like that. Oh, we've got some ice cream. Mr. Sandy's got some Turkish ice cream. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Should we get some Turkish ice cream? What flavour we got? Vanilla, caramel and banana. Let's go for a vanilla. Sure. Please. You want to play again? Uh, we are good. I'm ready to roll. Okay. I see, oh, he got me again. Wait, oh my god, I actually thought I was going to get it that time. All right, all right, is, is he going to go again? Is he going to go? He's filling it up. He's filling it up with a vanilla. Am I going to get it this time? Oh, he's got me again. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is killing me. Oh my god. Thank you very wow. much, sir. Oh, this. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you very much. Wait, what? what? No way. No way. Yeah, I won that time. Thank you so much. Let's see what the um, vanilla ice cream tastes like. Ice cream. Mm. Real good. I'll come and pay inside, yeah? Sure. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. How are you? Uh, how much for the ice cream? 15 pieces. 15. Yeah. Oh, if you give me five back. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, guys. I think this is an appropriate place to end the video and me to enjoy this ice cream. So if you enjoyed the walking tour of the gold suit, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all on the next video.